world-class Australian campus, our passionate lecturers are able to educate trials riders from all over the world. Are you ready to learn? Welcome to the University of Trials. In the last class, we discussed bike selection, bunny hops, and the utilization of the ghost feature to beat your friend's times. One thing I failed to mention is that if you call out on your YouTube series that you're actually beaten one of your friend's times, he pretty quickly sends messages back on Xbox Live explaining that he's taken the times back. But enough about that. Let's get into today's lessons. With the introduction of Trials Evolution Gold Edition for the PC, players now have the option of either using the keyboard or the controller to control their gameplay experience. Some new students to the university have been asking me which is the better option, so what I thought I'd do is briefly go over the pros and cons of each and then make some recommendations for newer players to the series. First of all, let's talk about the keyboard. Now this is a digital input, meaning that when you press a button, it's either at 0% or 100%, there is nothing in between. The benefit of this is that you can get to your top speed at the fastest rate possible. The downside, especially on some of the larger inclines in the hard and extreme tracks, is that it makes it very difficult to gently press the accelerator where you only want to be accelerating at say 50 or 60%. The controller on the other hand does have digital inputs as well in the form of the D-pad or the A and the X button, but what I want to focus on with the controller is the analog inputs. With these, you get to partially press a button, and that ability is crucial for being able to master some of the harder and extreme tracks within the game. Using the accelerator as an example, if you wanted to go up a really steep hill, all you'd have to do is press the accelerator as gently as possible to just start moving up that incline, and you'll notice that the grip of the tires will be sufficient to get you up the hill as long as you don't press the accelerator too hard. What a lot of new players tend to do is just hit the accelerator way too hard at the bottom of a hill, they constantly do backflips and that leads to frustration, but all you're doing is actually overusing the accelerator and not allowing the bike to gradually take itself up the hill. In summary, while it is absolutely possible to set lightning fast times with either the keyboard or the controller, I would always recommend a controller for newer players just because it gives you a lot more flexibility in the inputs you provide to the game and that will make it a lot more of an enjoyable experience. In this lesson, we're going to focus on going downhill. Now at this point, you may think you've only got one option, but you've actually got two, to accelerate or to do nothing. The first scenario I'm going to show you here is where we're accelerating at 100%. Common sense suggests that you're going to be going as fast as you possibly can, and I'm sure a lot of people think that if I accelerate 100%, I must be going the fastest this bike can go. Now I just clear that ramp, and we'll notice that in a second. Here's the second scenario where I'm actually letting go of the throttle completely. This is just gravity doing the work now, but you have a look at where I end up. At this point, I was landing before, and I'm still on the way up. Have a look at how much extra distance I get, simply because of the speed boost I get, because on a large downhill section, I let go of the throttle. Here's another scenario to prove this point. On the left hand side, we have no acceleration whatsoever. Same as the last example, just gravity. On the right, full throttle. And you can watch these side by side, and already you can start to see the differences between the speeds that each of these bikes is going at. On the left hand side, with no acceleration, I've just finished the track. On the right hand side, where I've been at 100% throttle the whole way, now I finish the track. And that, my friends, is a 5 second difference over a 20 second portion of a track. The main thing to really take away from all of this is that at any track that you can see a large downhill section, experiment with not accelerating at all, and you may just find it is actually faster. Well, that brings us to the end of another class. Last lesson, I gave everybody some homework and I asked you to spread the word about the University of Trials. Now everybody did an absolutely outstanding job, but as the old saying goes, there can only be one winner. And last class winner was CJ Svensson. Congratulations, and I'll be in touch with you shortly. For those of you disappointed you didn't win, thanks to Ubisoft Australia, we've got even better prizes to give away for this lesson. We've got a copy of Trials Evolution Gold Edition for the PC, we've got a Trials Evolution t-shirt and a Trials Evolution hoodie. Now these things are tough to come by. Unfortunately, this is restricted to Australian and New Zealand residents, but if you're still eligible, here's what you've got to do to enter. I want you to get creative and send me in something that relates to Trials Evolution. Now you can create this in Photoshop, I don't care if it's music, if it's a video, or even if you do something in MS Paint or use crayons. Send me in something to the below email address and you'll be in the running to win. Entries close on the 21st of April 2013, so get creative and I'll highlight some of the best entrants 
next lesson and announce the winner. If you're looking for some creative inspiration, here's something I put together. I never meant to buy you trials gold. I never meant to bring you to my world. And now you're sitting in the corner crying, trying to zero fault, zero fault. I never meant to buy you trials gold. I never meant to bring you to my world. And now you're sitting in the corner crying, trying to zero fault, zero fault. Summer of arcade just off the braid. There was a game released on live I had to play. The first day, played all day, and I sucked. My first attempt, like I was raised on the first day. Red Links, a game development company from the south of Finland, who abuse and torture their users. Told me about a track called Trials and Tribulations. I said, wait, first let me finish Groundhog Begins. I loved it so much, played it again and again. But now, it's out on Uplay, and it's on Steam. Had friends over my house, let's try another game. I don't trust you, there's no steering, it's just bikes, how lame. It gets better once you get used to the physics, it'll have you doing sprint jumps, throttle control and backflips. Oh hell, I might as well buy it, it's so cheap. Oh crap, I didn't mean for you to quit working, lose sleep. I never meant to buy you trial gold. I never meant to bring you to my world. And now you're sitting in the corner crying, trying to zero fault, zero fault. I never meant to buy you trial gold. I never meant to bring you to my world. And now you're sitting in the corner crying, trying to zero fault, zero fault.